Daniel 9, 25 and 26. In 25 he says, Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the command to restore and build Jerusalem until Messiah the Prince, there shall be seven weeks and 62 weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall. So at the end of the seven and the 62 weeks, Jerusalem will be restored, will be rebuilt, meaning the temple will be rebuilt. Now, verse 26, he says, And after the 62 weeks, Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. Meaning, after Messiah is cut off, when was the Messiah cut off? When he was crucified. So when, who is the Messiah? Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was crucified, he says that sanctuary will be destroyed. What is the sanctuary? The temple. The temple will be destroyed after the Messiah is cut off and, i.e., crucified. And it will not be for him. Meaning, Jesus the Messiah came to save the Israelite nation. They said, we don't want so they gained nothing out of Jesus Christ by rejecting him and by crucifying him. They gained nothing out of his salvific plan that was brought directly and more importantly to the Israelite nation. They gained nothing by crucifying him. In fact, after the crucifixion, what happened? The temple and Jerusalem, the, they were wiped from the face of the earth in 70 AD by the Roman Empire. The army came, led by Titus, destroyed Jerusalem and the temple with it. Until this very day. Daniel, <laughs> no, this is kind of complicated. The prophet Daniel divides the 70 weeks into three intervals. He divides these 70 weeks into three intervals deliberately. Why? Because who gave that revelation to Daniel? God. So therefore, everything has a reason. Everything has a reason. So Daniel divides the 70 weeks in this order. Seven weeks, 62 weeks, and then one week left out. He didn't go 62 weeks, seven, or one, 62, seven. No, no, no. Seven, then 62, then the last week. This is deliberate. Why? He's trying to give us a profound revelation about the Messiah coming and what is going to happen after his first coming. I don't want to upset our beloved Jewish people. But did you know the book of Daniel is not accepted by the Jewish people? It's taken out of their books. To them it's not authentic. You know why? Because the only prophet... Can I make an emphasis on this? The only prophet out of the entire Old Testament prophets, the only prophet that prophesied in absolute perfect, perfect timing of the Messiah coming is Daniel. He is the only prophet who pinpointed when Jesus Christ was going to be born. Pinpointed. His time is so accurate when you accept the book of Daniel, you must accept that Jesus Christ of Nazareth came. There's no two ways about it. That's why the Jewish people took the book of Daniel out, because they don't want to believe the Messiah had already come. When we read in Daniel 9 ver verse 25, it said that from the going forth of the command, which command is Daniel prophesying here? Which com whose command, I should say? Whose command? From the going forth of the command. Whose command? The command of one of the kings of Persia by the name Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes who came after Cyrus II. Artaxerxes where he allowed Nehemiah and Zorobabel and a group of Israelite people to go back to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple which was destroyed. Artaxerxes' command given to Nehemiah and Zorobabel and other Jews to go back was given in 453 BC. 
in 453 BC. That was the command. So Daniel 9.25, when it says, Know therefore and understand. Look how he's talking. Know and understand. You better pay attention to what's coming after know and understand. Yeah? Know and understand that from the going forth of the command, of the command of who? The Persian king, Artaxerxes. When was this command given? In 453 BC. From that day, Jerusalem and the temple was rebuilt. 453 BC. Now keep that in mind. Now we've determined that 42 months, 1260 days, time, times, and half a time is three and a half years, literally. Three and a half years is half of seven years. So that week is seven it's seven days and this is seven years. So when you multiply that week into years, you're going to get the following. Daniel put the 70 weeks in three intervals. Seven weeks. Now seven times seven is... Anyone good in mathematics? Seven times seven is 49. So the first interval is 49 years. That's the prophecy of Daniel. So what is he saying? The order, the command was given to, re to Nehemiah and his, and his people to go back to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple by Artaxerxes in 453 BC. So the first interval is 49 years because it's seven weeks. Since the week is seven years, so seven times seven is 49 years. What is this first interval? From the time of Daniel's death till the time of Malachi or Malachi the prophet coming, there was a gap of 49 years. From the time of Daniel the prophet's death till the coming of the last prophet, the last prophet for the Israelite nation being Malachi, there was 49 years between Daniel's death and the last prophet of the Israelite nation coming was 49 years. Malachi is the last prophet. Now, now since there are seven years that week, the next interval is what? 62 weeks, according to Daniel chapter 9, correct? Now, seven times 62, I'll help you with this one. We have some geniuses in here. Oh, were you looking over there, were you? Oh, well, you got it. 434 years. So 7 times 62 weeks, which is the second interval, 7 times 62 is 434 years. From Malachi, the last prophet, till the coming of John the Baptist, there was a gap of 434 years. The Israelite nation had no prophets for 434 years. Do you know what that means? God went silent on them for 434 years. They've been crying. God, say something. Say something. I'm looking for you. Say something. He said nothing. 434 years, God was silent. He sent them no prophets. They must have been very naughty. For God to be silent for 434 years, He must have been very upset with them. Not happy. So the first interval, 49 years, from the death of Daniel till the coming of Malachi, the last prophet. From Malachi to John the Baptist, 434 years. The second interval, 62 weeks. Look how Daniel is prophesying. Preparing the way for the coming of the Messiah. When John the Baptist came, John the Baptist came, started immediately saying, 
I am the voice crying in the wilderness, prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. I am the voice crying in the wilderness, prepare the way. The, the, the mountains shall be lowered, the valleys shall be lifted and raised, and the crooked way shall be made straight. For the one who comes after me is before me, for his path is straight. If you want to meet up with the Messiah, if you want to be saved one and once and for all, if you are a mountain living in pride, you better be humble and come down of your boastful, sinful nature. And if you are a valley living in despair and losing hope, going down, losing hope, you better raise yourself up and stop saying it's too late. Stop saying I am dead. Stop saying it's over. It is never over for as long as Jesus lives. You and I live in him. So if you've lost hope, a valley, raise up yourself. And if you've been walking crookedly, stop it. If you've been coming one Sunday to the church and the next to the club, stop it. That is the crooked way. You cannot be in the church and in the world. You cannot be with Christ and with Satan at the same time. It is either the light Christ or it is darkness Satan. The two can never live together. It is either day or night. Have you ever seen the day and the night embracing each other? Have you ever seen light and darkness living together? Impossible. Oh, if you walk on crooked, straighten your path and choose wisely. Choose the light in order to have life. Choose Christ. Now, the first interval, seven weeks, we determined it's the week is 70. So seven times seven, 49. The second interval is 62 weeks times 7, 434 years. Now, 434 plus 49 years is 483 years to the dot. 434 plus 49 is 483 years. Now, Artaxerxes, when did he give his command for the temple to be rebuilt? In 453 BC. 483. Take away 453, what do you end up with? 30. 30 years where Christ was revealed to the world. At the age of 30, Jesus Christ goes to the river Jordan. John the Baptist is there. Who came crying out in the wilderness. Get ready guys. The logos, the word is coming. The Logos came to the river Jordan at the age of 30. He was revealed to John the Baptist and the entire world when he was 30 years of age. 483 minus 453, 30 years. The age where Jesus Christ was revealed to the world and God the Father said, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. To him you shall listen. And the dove and the Holy Spirit as the dove descended and remained on him. God the Father spoke, the Holy Spirit, the dove descended and the Son was in the river Jordan. The Holy Trinity was revealed when Christ was 30 years of age. God revealed to humanity when he reached the age of 30.